Internal gear bicycle hubs have been commercially available since 1898 and are typically found on bicycles used for transport rather than high-performance sport. They are a great alternative to derailleur gears as they still offer multiple gear ratios. However, the critical drive components are all sealed away from the elements. This results in an incredibly low maintenance drivetrain that not only lasts longer, but is less susceptible to damage. Internal gear hubs normally use planetary gear sets to achieve different gear ratios, and you can get them with up to 14 different gears. You can also get continuously variable transmission hubs that have not just 14 gears, but an infinite number of gears between two set points. I thought I was crazy uploading a super deep dive video on the Shimano Alfine hub, but over 2 million people watched it. So in this video, I'm going to give the Enviolo CVT hubs the same treatment. We will start with the advantages and disadvantages, and will later compare these hubs to expensive roll-off hubs, as well as the closer matched Shimano hubs. And lastly, I'll explain exactly how this CVT works. But first, what is a bicycle CVT? A bicycle CVT is a type of gearbox that eliminates the steps between each of your gears. Instead of shifting from your first gear to second and second to third, the transition between gears is completely seamless, creating the smoothest shifting possible and allowing you to ride at your perfect cadence or crank rotation speed. CVTs are common in industrial and automotive applications, but are uncommon on bicycles. However, there are significant advantages to a bicycle CVT, including a very user-friendly design, gear changes while stationary, no gear skipping, and an eerily silent operation. And when paired with electronic shifting, you can even achieve fully automated shifting that keeps your legs spinning at your preferred cadence, no matter the speed, and without you even having to think about it. So, where did this CVT technology come from? A hub called the NuVinci 171 was released in 2006 by Fallbrook Technologies. At the time, it was around 4 kilograms, which was more than twice as heavy as any other gear hub. Over time, the hubs were refined, the weight was brought down by 40%, the gear range was increased, and the hubs were engineered for a broader range of applications. NuVinci later rebranded to Enviolo as part of a bankruptcy restructuring. These days, the company is thriving. Over 2 million bicycles now use their CVT hubs, including many in bike share fleets around the world. You can find Enviolo equipped bikes from over 150 different bike brands, and a third of those use electronic shifting. I've already touched on some of the advantages of gear hubs and CVTs, but it wouldn't be a cycling about video without a deep dive analysis. The first big advantage is the user-friendly design. There is just one rotary shifter, and it's highly intuitive to use. If you feel like your legs are spinning too fast, you wind the shifter one way, and if your legs are struggling up a hill, you wind it the other. It's really as simple as that. In addition, the Enviolo hubs can be shifted at any time, including while stationary, so it doesn't ever matter if you've forgotten to shift. Number two, the instant and stepless gearing. As soon as you rotate the shifter, the CVT is instantly engaged. You never have to wait for any gear changes and there is no chance of your chain skipping between gears. The stepless gearing also ensures you're never stuck between gear ratios. This means your cadence can always be exactly as you desire. Number three, the electronic shifting. If you use an e-bike with a mid-motor, both electronic shifting and automatic gear changes are possible. First, you set your desired cadence in RPM on your smartphone. Then the motor or shifter will work together to automatically keep you at your perfect RPM, no matter the cycling speed. And when you stop at traffic lights, the shifter will also put you in your perfect gear for takeoff. In addition, this system allows for manual gear shifting in 5% increments simply by pressing up and down on the thumb buttons. 
This is particularly useful for riders who still want gear control, but have hand or wrist impairments. It's also a great upgrade over the Manual Shifter 2, for reasons we'll discuss in the Disadvantages section. It's worth noting that an electronic shifting retrofit is also possible on some e-bike and Enviolo hub combinations. Number 4. The smooth and silent operation. Most internal gear hubs generate noise as the planetary gears are whirring away inside the hub body. Some hubs have more internal noise and vibrations than others, and there are even hubs out there that constantly tick while you pedal. The Enviolo is the most silent gear hub of the lot. You almost never hear it working underneath you. Number 5. The reduced susceptibility to damage. As there is no derailleur to knock or get things caught in, the Enviolo drivetrains are much less susceptible to damage. This is one reason why they're so popular for bike fleets. Number 6. The suitability for all weather conditions. Compared to derailleur gears, the Enviolo gear components are all hidden away and sealed from the elements. This reduces both component wear and drivetrain maintenance significantly. The hub can also be used down to minus 20 degrees Celsius, as well as in the planet's hottest conditions. Number 7. The Low Maintenance Design Incredibly, the Enviolo hubs are sealed for the life of the bike they are operating on. That means zero oil changes and zero bearing changes too. The hub comes with a guarantee for 20,000 kilometres of use, but some users have reported exceeding 80,000 kilometres, which is similar to some Shimano hubs. The only maintenance required is cable replacements for the rotary shifter and a possible service of the freewheel mechanism too. Number 8. The relative affordability. Compared to other gear hub options, the Enviolo products are considered affordable. And when you factor in the reduced need to replace worn components, these hubs become even more reasonably priced. There are currently six different Enviolo hubs with prices starting at $199 and maxing out at $499. There is even a gearbox with a sprocket on both sides that's intended for three-wheel cargo bikes. When you spend more money, you essentially get a wider gear range and a more premium hub shell and internal components. You also get a higher input torque rating and hubs that can be fitted to heavier bikes. The best way to compare Enviolo hubs is to look at the spec sheets on the website. Number 9. The reduction in chain hassle. Provided you keep your chain tension, you will also never experience drop chains, skipping chains, or chain slapping on your frame. It's all the benefits of a single speed bike, but with infinite gear ratios. Number 10. The belt drive compatibility. Better yet, you can pair Enviolo hubs with smooth and silent belt drivetrains. You've probably already noticed that most Enviolo equipped bikes come with belts. That's because belt drive works out to be lower maintenance than chain drive, as it doesn't require any grease or lubrication. As a result, belts stay very clean. You'll never get black muck on your hands or pants ever again. Belts also don't rust, don't stretch, and are very long lasting too. In fact, I've recently put 35,000 kilometers into a belt drivetrain, which is more than three times further than I'd expect from a well cared for chain. Number 11, the stronger rear wheel. Enviolo hub flanges are both the same height and are spaced equally from the frame on both sides. Unlike a typical cassette hub, this results in even spoke tension, building the strongest wheel possible. And number 12, the high input torque rating. High torque e-bike motors are a great way to damage internal gear hubs. The good news is that the Enviolo hubs are rated up to 100 newton meters input torque, which is higher than the Shimano Nexus 5-speed hub. Some manufacturers, such as Evelo, have found that the Enviolo trekking hub will comfortably handle a 600 watt, 120 newton meter motor. According to the company, Enviolo hubs are their most reliable gear system, with a less than 1% warranty replacement rate. They have so much confidence in the hubs that they even extend the warranty duration. Right, 
after all that, I probably sound like a spokesperson for MVOLO. So we need to look at the disadvantages too. But first, if you're interested in derailleur-free drivetrains, you might like my Touring and Bikepacking Bike Buyer's Guides. These guides teach you everything about the bikes and equipment before allowing you to compare hundreds of bikes at the back of the books. There are over 80 bikes with derailleur-free drivetrains in the Touring Guide alone. The first disadvantage is the drive efficiency. When you put pedal power into the MVLO hub, some of that power is lost through the transmission. Most internal gear hubs are somewhere between 3 and 7% less efficient than a perfectly clean derailleur drivetrain. In comparison, the MVLO CVT hub is around 14% less efficient. Now, I know 14% sounds like a lot, but this is really not a big deal for many users, notably those who use their bikes for transport. And the benefit of always using the perfect cadence might even outweigh the drive efficiency loss. When using a regular bike on a 5km flat trip, I've calculated you might lose 20 seconds compared to a Shimano internal gear hub. And if you were to use an e-bike, you could expect slightly less range from your battery. But we're talking a handful of kilometres here compared to other gearboxes. It's nothing drastic. This is obviously no big deal for short urban trips, but the battery range or time penalty might of course add up for long distance use. Number two, the weight. These hubs are around 800 grams heavier than a Shimano Alfine hub with a similar gear range. And they are around 700 grams heavier than a roll-off hub that offers a much wider gear range. Now, I've said this before and I'll say it again, Bike weight affects cycling speed much less than you think. This is because 800 extra grams is likely just 1 or 2% extra weight to your overall system weight. When we run the calculations, this weight difference will barely slow you down on the flat, and in the hills, it's likely just a 1 or 2 minute penalty per 100 kilometres of cycling. Where weight becomes more important is if you frequently carry your bike up and down stairs. Number three, the heavy shift actuation. Some people find the MVOLO manual shifter to be quite stiff to rotate, and it's even harder to change gears when the shifter gets wet. If you have hand or wrist issues, the Shimano Alfini hubs with a trigger or DI2 shifter might be the better option. Or if you're planning on using an e-bike anyway, simply choose the Enviolo electronic shifter. Number four, the fast wearing shift cables. The Enviolo hub, when coupled with the manual shifter, is notoriously tough on cables. However, the duration the cables stay in good working condition is usually based on how smoothly and carefully you shift. Here are a couple of things to keep in mind when shifting. First, make sure to back off on your pedal power for a split second to make your shifts. This takes a bit of time to master, but becomes second nature in no time. Doing this allows the internal hub components to move with ease, putting less strain on your cables. Secondly, you don't want to force the shifting. You often cannot rotate the shifter across its full gear range when the bike is stationary, so only rotate it as much as the hub will allow. It's also quite easy to strain the cables by rotating the shifter past the highest and lowest shift points, so try to be aware of these limits. And lastly, maintain your cables. This involves keeping them clean and lubricated, making sure the cables have the appropriate tension, and checking for any sharp bends in the external housing. If you keep these things in mind, your cables can last for years. Number five, the wheel removal. Rear wheel removal is not quite as easy on an Enviolo bike. With the electronic shifting, you just pull the connector cable and can remove your rear wheel with a spanner or allen keys. It's a bit trickier with the manual shifter because two cables must be unhooked from the hub interface before dropping your wheel. Also, make sure to avoid bumping the hub interface as you can accidentally reduce the gear range of your hub. If the hub interface is moved, the MVOLO channel has a video showing you how to reset it. Number six, the low gear that's not that low. 
The Enviolo hubs require a minimum front to rear sprocket ratio of 2 to 1. This results in a climbing speed of 8 km per hour when you're pedaling at 60 rpm, or a low gear of approximately 28 gear inches. To put this into context, the climbing speed on many mountain bikes is often 30 to 40% lower, and even lightweight gravel bikes have a 10% lower climbing gear. While this climbing gear is perfectly adequate for most urban uses, if you're planning on cycling in hilly terrain without electric assistance, the Enviolo climbing gear is likely not low enough. Number 7. The Gear Range The gear range of Enviolo hubs is between 256 and 380%. This simply means that the top gear is 2.56 times bigger than the smallest gear. To put these numbers into context, modern derailleur drivetrains exceed 500% gear range, and there are gearbox drivetrains that even exceed 600%. Again, a smaller gear range works for most urban environments. That's especially the case if you have electric assistance. Where it becomes a bit limited is if you want to climb both steep hills and have gears for high-speed cruising too. And number 8, the need to send away Enviolo hubs for repair. The Enviolo hubs are not a typical product found in bicycle stores outside of Europe so you might need to send your hub to a service centre for repair. And yes, there is a big service centre in the United States. In other regions, the bike companies that sell Enviolo-equipped bikes are usually able to help. But it's worth noting that problems with the hubs are quite uncommon, and most issues can usually be solved by changing the shifter, or replacing the cables and freewheel mechanism. Right, let's find out what the extra thousand dollars gets you if you were to upgrade to a roll-off hub. In short, buying a roll-off ensures a longer-lasting hub that's lighter, much more efficient, and with both lower and higher gear ratios. It will also handle more torque from an e-bike motor. Roll-off hubs are known for their long-term durability. There is even a roll-off out there that has travelled 500,000 kilometres, which is 5 to 10 times further than you can expect from an Enviolo. When it comes to drive efficiency, the roll-off has been tested to be over 94% efficient across its entire gear range, compared to Enviolo's 83%. With all things being equal, this results in around a 1.5 km per hour speed difference on the flat, making the roll-off undoubtedly the best option for long distance use. It's also the best way to get the maximum range from a battery. The roll-off also offers a 526% gear range compared to Enviolo's 380%. This allows you to ride at both much lower and higher speeds. The lowest permissible gear ratio can be set considerably lower on a roll-off, making steeper hills much easier to conquer. In fact, the lowest permissible gear on the Enviolo is the equivalent of the sixth gear on a roll-off. The roll-off is not only 700 grams lighter, but it will handle up to 130 newton meters from an e-bike motor. There are more shifter options with the roll-off too. If you want to use drop bars, you have the option between sync integrated shifters and even SRAM shifting using a Gebler Rollbox. And if you use an e-bike, the roll-off has electronic shifting too. I hope you can now see where the value lies in a roll-off hub, but the advantages of the Enviolo should not be taken lightly. The hub is quieter, more user-friendly, has automatic shifting, requires zero oil changes, and is offered at a fantastic price. A fairer comparison might be to the Shimano hubs. When we compare the Enviolo to Shimano hubs, we get a much closer matchup in terms of price, gear range, lowest permissible gear ratio, and long-term durability. It could be said that the Shimano feels snappier and sportier with its distinct gear changes, and the 800 gram weight saving helps in this regard too. The drive efficiency difference is around 7%, which results in a 1 km per hour faster cycling speed on the flat. The Alfine also uses a trigger shifter, which is often preferred over Enviolo's rotary shifter. 
and you don't need an e-bike to use electronic shifting options for the Shimano Hubs too. That said, the Shimano Hubs are a bit noisier, the gears can skip if you don't maintain the cables well, the auto shifting is not as seamless, the input torque rating is lower, and the hubs require regular grease or oil changes. And finally, let's go inside the Enviolo hubs to see how they work. We are looking at the hub from the back of the bike, so the sprocket is on the right side and the disc rotor is on the left. Here you can see the main shift components. There are two rings and a set of large metal spheres that sit on an idler. The input ring on the right side is connected to the rear sprocket, which is driven by your legs. And the output ring on the left side is what propels your bike forward. Power from your pedals moves from your rear sprocket to the first ring, then into the spheres, and then from the spheres to the second ring, and finally to the rear wheel. One reason why Enviolo hubs are somewhat inefficient is due to the metal spheres that are moving in a slightly different direction and at a slightly different speed to the two rings. This is known as contact spin. Interestingly, these components are not directly touching. Instead, a specially designed oil passes through microscopic spaces between the components, solidifying momentarily under pressure and transferring the pedal power. This is why there is such little wear inside NVLO hubs and why you don't need to service them. To understand how the hub achieves its infinite gear ratios, we need to take a closer look at the spheres. When you twist the shifter at the handlebar, the idler on the axle tilts the spheres. This changes the contact patch size on the spheres that the rings interact with. When the contact patch is large on the right side and small on the left side, the wheel will spin slower than the rear sprocket. When the contact patch is small on the right side and large on the left side, the wheel will spin faster than the rear sprocket. And when the contact patches are identical on both sides, the wheel and sprocket will move at the same speed. Congratulations, you now know virtually everything about Enviolo hubs, including how they work. I think these hubs are super cool. They are intuitive to use, require little maintenance, are super silent, and the fact that they're priced well only makes them more appealing. Even as a very experienced cyclist, the automatic gear changing was an absolute delight to use. Yes, the hubs are a bit heavy and inefficient, but for many user groups, I'm not really sure that matters. If you're after the best performing and longest lasting hub, you will still be best served with a roll-off. And for a sportier ride experience, as well as more shifter options, I think the Shimano hubs are the way to go. If you'd like to know more, I have lots of Gearbox and GearHub videos available on this channel. I'll link some of them in the comment section below.